So um, I think I had a fascination always with knowing how things worked. Um, I just was curious. But in school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I liked all my subjects, I liked maths, I liked English. And when it came to picking my options, I just wanted to pick them all because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, but I think my first exposure to engineering probably came through a teacher that I had. And he took a group of us on this um, sort of weekend away and we learned about how to put together a project, a report, how to design something and how to present to a group to a panel so I enjoyed that and I thought I quite like teamwork like working with people like working for people you know for people's needs and engineering seems to sort of encompass all that so that's how I ended up here and I'm enjoying it. So I took uh, the A level then university route so I went straight for my A levels into uni um, and for that, I thought it was really useful to have a degree that um, had some experience in it. So my degree was master's, but I also had an extra year of um, work experience, which is really helpful for me because I find that in uni, you know, it was very theory heavy, which is great, but um, you don't actually know what you'll be doing day to day. And there's so many different types of engineering. So still you left a little bit like, what will I actually be doing? So that year in industry, was great for me learning what I could be doing practically. So academic, yes, A-levels, then university, but I also had a bit of hands-on work experience as well. So as, as an engineer, and actually all of us in society have quite a big responsibility to ensure that we're, you know, living lives that are sustainable, using as little carbon as possible, but um, generally, day to day, in our designs as engineers, we want to make sure that the energy that we're using for heating our, in our spaces, for example, or bringing power is renewable energy. So energy that's going to come from sources that won't ever deplete. So we're thinking about wind turbines, solar energy and how we can use these clean resources to um, power our building. So I think that's where the biggest impact comes in my work. Day to day, well, um, it's different every day. It's not always the same, but I think a day in my life would usually include first cycling to the office to get my porridge, sit at my desk and I'll read my emails. Every job has emails, disclaimer. Um, but sometimes we will be in meetings with other people. So I might go to the architect's office and sit with them, talk about their designs or I might, I'll always actually be speaking to my colleagues and trying to get their help and we'll help each other. Um, I also might go to site, so I'll be wearing a hard hat and um, some boots and a high vis jacket and I'll be looking at what's been installed in the building and also where we might want to put things that we've designed as well. So it's quite varied. Most of the days I'm actually sat in an office talking to people, which I quite enjoy. 